Hey, you guys, I am so excited about this episode because oh, the Ellie, the great Ellie Holcomb is here. <laughs> she is a singer, a songwriter, an author. I mean, so much. And we've known each other for how long now? Mm. Years? Over, yeah. I mean, I mean, I would. I was going to say a decade. Ten? I would say that ten. Makes you feel really old. <laughs> I know. Sure, surely not ten. Surely not ten. But, but I think it has been. Oh, uh, but oh my gosh, there's so many things to talk about right now. So we can get into like music <laughs> stuff. That's where I was going. But like your new album, like oh. I've had multiple friends text me and they're like, "Have you have you heard this song? Have you heard this song?" So you're making an incredible impact. Love that. Thank you, friend. And what you're doing. Thank so you. tell everyone kind of what what you're doing in life. Yeah. Who are well, you? Family, friends. Kids, all family, of it. friends, I love all it. All of it, all, all of it. it. Okay, so I, uh, I'm married to my best guy friend that I swear I'd never date, Drew Holcomb. We sing and travel and play shows together. We've got three little kids, Emmy Lou, Huck, and Rivers. So we are full. We're all at home together. It's the longest that my husband and I have ever been in one place together at the same time ever in our whole marriage, and we've been married for 14 years. So that has been. There have been so many, so many gifts to that, but um, mainly at home. Yes. Doing this. Okay, so that I was going to say, because, I mean, I, I traveled some for work, not as much as you. I mean, yes. you guys are like road warriors. Like, y'all are gone all the time with the kids and all the yes. things. Yeah. So, yeah, how, like— It's crazy. How, did, how, how is that all looking for you now? It's almost been—like, our kids just have loved being in one place and, like, mm -hmm. a little bit more of, like— We have a general rhythm for our family. It looks a little different than it's not traditional. Yeah. But um, it's been a really beautiful thing to have a more of, like, a traditional rhythm. Yes. So I told my husband, we had just gotten off the road. We feel really grateful. We were able to tour almost all of February and then literally— it all hit March. Everything yep. got yep. shut down. So we did. We were gone, I think, 24 days of February. And our kids were with us on the road. So they were waking up in a different city every day, going to a different children's museum, art museum, science museum. So I, we got to the end of that tour, and I was like, Drew, our kids need to be bored. Like, they need to be bored and create and— and literally— They're like, take me to Zeus. Take me to <laughs> I know. They're like, let's go. What children's museum are we seeing today, yeah, Mom? Right. And I'm like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> this is— This isn't real life. This isn't normal. <laughs> so I— About a week into quarantine, I look out on our little side deck. We have a little, like, turf side deck. And— and they're out there, and there is a giant bucket of water with bubbles spilling over the side. There's a magnifying glass. There's like a—they a, a, have like the whole goldfish thing out there, and they're pouring the cracker goldfish the into the bubbles. <laughs> and, uh, and then a stethoscope and like the string that they've tied up, and I'm like— they're bored. <laughs> this is amazing. So I think, like, just even allowing kids— I mean, I feel like as a kid, I grew up, and it's like, go outside, oh, see it, dinner. hundred percent. And so oh, they yeah. are, there's a sense that, like, our younger kids are getting a little taste of that. And yes. I'm so grateful. I know. Because I, so I swear, I'm like, the quarantine took us back to, like, the 50s. I feel like <laughs> everyone saw everyone. I saw more neighbors in my life, you know, more wave, hey, hey. And the kids are outside playing on time. Like, it really is. There's, like, this level that I was like, oh, wow, this is, like, a little bit of how life's going to be. I want some of it to come back to normal. Some like, of it pretty back. quick. Yeah. Like, like, right now. Like, but, May. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> back in May would have yeah. been nice. But there are elements I think so many people have picked out of this crazy time of life that you keep. And you're like, you know what? This is so good. And it's we so want to keep that same rhythm. So I love that. It's so great. Okay. You have a children's book. A new yes. one. But— and I, we'll talk about it. But can I first just, well, can I brag on your yes, first one? So okay. Precious. So Ellie wrote, who sang the first song, and my girls, this is their number one book. Like, especially Caroline now, the youngest. So she's, she'll be three this week. And she's always like, who sang the song, mom book? That, that's oh what she calls it. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, who sang the first song? Who hummed the first tune? Was it when the wind blowing best, the silver moon? I know, I know your book, you Ellie. Memorized, memorized it. it. And then the other thing that I loved— it. As a mom, can I say this too? It's short, which I really oh, appreciate praise. it. No, that's why I wrote it short. And I was like, I, praise God from all who, from all <laughs> blessings flow. Thank you, Jesus, for a short book. It is. Yeah. You're like, read the book. Good night. We can hear your prayers. It is. It's so great. We're good. And the art. Like, it's amazing. Kayla Heron is amazing. It's amazing. Great. Okay. So, obsessed with your first book. Uh, you, okay. Friend. And then you have a new one out. Oh, don't forget to remember. So, tell me. Tell me about this. Tell me, like, what was your thought behind this book? Sure. What were you wanting? So I've got, so, um, okay, so Crazy with Kids, as you know, yes. young kids. Yes. It's wonderful and it's full. Like, it's <laughs> just, like, yes. full. Yep. And um, there's so many things that we're communicating to them. And so I, all of a sudden, I was 
brainstorming for this second book and mm-hmm. did like a little two book deal. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like, I'm honestly so stressed out as a mom. Like I just am busy because it's mm-hmm. just, there's not a lot of margin. And so I just was like, man, I just, I get to the end of the day sometimes and I'm like, I've told my kids 1,000 things. Wash your hands, flush the toilet, say please, say thank you, like yes. look people in the eye when you talk to them, you know, all these things that I've communicated to them. But sometimes I get to the end of the day and I'm like, have I told them anything that I actually really want them mm. to know? Like the things that really matter, yeah. like that they were made on purpose by God, by God who's crazy about them no matter what they do. Mm. So I just thought, but at the end of every day, we read a book or two. Yep. Yep. We're half of one. <laughs> depending on, depending How long on, it is. <laughs> How long it is. Um, and it was a sad day when my little girl was like, Mom, you skipped three pages. Oh. I was like, oh. Isn't that the worst? Man. Isn't that the absolute? Whoops. Yeah. Dr. Seuss books. <laughs> I'm always like, <laughs> this is 60 pages. Oh, yeah. I, I just grab them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say, am I am. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, we can. That is. Yeah, I, just it, reviewing everything. I just grab, a, I just grab a couple. Just yeah, grab that's a couple right. That's right. So we're just like, mom, you missed the. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, whoa. So I, but, but every night we read and we sing and we pray and we cuddle. And so I just thought, man, if I could write a book that could not only help my kids know what really matters at the end of the day, but mm-hmm. that would remind me, because I forget too. That's good, yep. Um, I want to do that. So this is like, I was like, let it be like a campfire for like families to gather around and like warm our hearts by the light of God's love is my whole Sweet. hope yes. and prayer. So it has been such... It has been such a gift. The book has been really, really sweet. And it came out on this page that you're on, actually, is mm-hmm. really beautiful. It came, so the release day oh, yeah. was actually the day after the tornado hit Nashville. Nashville. And it was, so, I mean, I we were out of power in East Nashville. It went right behind our house. It was really scary. It was the scaredest I've ever been, I think. And my husband was out of town. He flew right back mm-hmm. the next day, but it, I was by myself with three kids and our, woke up to our house shaking. So oh. I was, it was scary. Oh, terrible. So oh, yeah. Oh. I, you know, we ended up all going down to the basement. And um, the next day, we're walking around the neighborhood, checking on our friends and neighbors. Yeah. And there were so many houses that had so much damage, and it wasn't really safe for kids to be in their own homes because mm-hmm. there was just glass and everything everywhere. So I, I ended up gathering about 10 different kids from around the neighborhood who ended up at my house because we didn't have any glass. It was safe. It, yes, it wasn't yes. that we didn't have power, but it wasn't like, you know. Windows were busted out. Windows and, weren't yeah. busted out, mm-hmm. right. And so they walked in. And we had the balloons and flowers and the book uh, from the book out on the table. And a lot of the kids, they call me Lily. And they were like, Lily, what is all of this? And I was like, oh, well, I I was supposed to release a book today, but we're we're gonna wait on that because we're all in the middle of dealing with this storm. And they're like, can we read it right now? So I ended up with 10 kids who've probably been through like the scariest night of their life. Um, reading this together. Mm-hmm. And so when we got to this page, they were like, we love this, Lily. And one of the little boys said, did you write a, a page about the tornado? And I was like, oh, buddy, no, I didn't. I, I didn't write exactly about the tornado. And we turned to this next, oh, next page, and it's just the rain and the rainbow. when yeah. a colorful rainbow peeks out through the rain, don't forget to remember God's love stays the same. On glad days and sad days, God's near and He knows He can use any storm to make good things grow. And so mm-hmm. they start going around, and they were like, Lily, We already are seeing good. They were like, there's all these people at our house that are helping us clean it out. And so many people, and then another kid's like, so many people have just hugged me today. And then somebody brought us donuts and they don't even know us. They just thought we might need food. And here we all are together. And so I am literally. Oh, oh, undone, (laughs) undone. (laughs) This is not the release day that we expected. But I could not imagine any more like, this is exactly what is I hope this would be for. And so it has been such a sweet thing. Um, and no, not knowing we are headed into this current season that we're in. Right. That oh, I yeah. would need, and that God in creation, all the, the sun comes up every day reminding us mercies are new. Dead branches in the winter burst with new life reminding us death never has the final word. Like mm-hmm. he remakes things that look dead. He breathes life into dead things. And so there have been so many beautiful things about the spring and this season happening yes. in the spring. Yes. I've, I did not know how much I would need this book. Do you know? Oh, a hundred percent. Read it half the days and I'm like, okay. I think, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but seriously, I think that's like, honestly, one of like the most beautiful things about being a parent is you get books like this or even like a children's Bible. And I'm like, this stuff speaks to me like so much more than all the adult stuff. Like it really does because it brings it back to the simplicity of who God is, his promises. That's right. And and the truth, right? And then at the end of the day, like all of this doesn't matter. Like yeah, this matters. This matters. Uh, none of this matters. This so like matters. it just brings you back to that simplicity point, that simplicity um, of life, and I feel like kids do that so well. They're and so good at it. They're so good at it. I mean, yes. it is. There was a tree knocked down by the storm, and there were like leaves. It was like this dead tree, but leaves were still growing even though it got knocked down. And my little boy was like, "Mommy, God is still growing things even <gasps> after the storm." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, buddy!" Like, he yeah. is in so many ways. That's what he does. So, yeah. That's who God is. He's a redeemer. He's a redeemer. <laughs> He's a healer. Oh you my got God, it, bud. So it's it, it is. It is. It's such a gift, and I love how we learn. We learn from our kids. We do too. so much. Well, the Grateful. book is absolutely amazing. Thank you. For Don't me. forget to remember all I me mean, all the stuff again. And I got to throw it up just because. Caroline and Amelia would love it. Who sang the first song? <laughs> it's the sweetest, sweetest kids book ever. By Ellie. Okay, so, so where fun. can they find this? Where they where can they find you? Ellieholcomb.com. All the links for all the things are on there. And there's music that goes with both books too. So the that CDs, yes. the CDs, or if you're not doing CDs anymore, although I still love them in my minivan. Yeah. Uh, it's like my only place where I Girl, listen to you, the actual. You I really do. Minivan. Oh yes. I, I do love too. it. I, got, I just caught one a few months ago. I'm obsessed. It's a magic card. Oh, <laughs> It, it literally, it's the most amazing car ever. Okay, so it is really amazing. many bands are great. These books are great. <laughs> and ellieholcomb.com, that's where you can find her. Ellie, thanks for being on today. Thanks for I so me. appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. 